Hi, I'm Sam Rodriguez, Senior Product Manager of Cabinets, Containment, and Industrial Solutions at Chatsworth Products. Today, I'm joining you from the Research Development and Training Center here in Georgetown, Texas, to guide you through product installation. We're going to begin by prepping a panel for installation. We're going to manipulate the levers and we're going to extend the panels to give us room to access behind it. This is how you open the service window. We're going to place the panel on top of the cabinet and align the hardware to the slot. We're going to hand tighten it down, align it to the back of the frame and torque it down with the drill. Bit. Then we're going to lift the panel to the ceiling and we're going to lock it in place and then we can close the service window. We're gonna repeat the process for the second cabinet and raise it to the ceiling and we should be at the same level. We're going to bay two panels together. There is a slot that goes through both. We add the hardware and torque it down. Now we're gonna add the baying kit for the upper part of the panels. You're gonna arrange the hardware. We're gonna align the bracket we're going to utilize a screwdriver, rotate it to give us leverage, and then we can tighten it with a thumb screw. We're going to repeat that at every connection. So here's a view of what it should look like as you're baying multiple panels together. In this case, there is a corner bracket. It's a little bit asymmetrical, so pay attention to the slots. We're going to identify the two inner pieces, and we're going to knock them out. You should use a screwdriver to get it started and then you can use your fingers to pop them out. Pay attention to the orientation. We want the three sets of holds facing the outside. We're going to screw it into position using the two going into the above the cabinet panels. We're going to repeat it on the opposite side. Once again, pay attention that the one that has four sets of holds is on the outside. Screw it down using three bolts. Now we're going to take a quick measurement and we need to verify that the dimension that you've achieved matches what's in the IIS table. The next step is to add some gaskets. We're going to mark it from the top of the panel L bracket to the underside of the corner bracket. We're going to install it with the curved side facing inward. You can see the curved feature of that part. Then we're going to install it in place and then we're going to nick it at the extrusion so you've got two levels of seal. We're going to repeat on the opposite side. Now we're going to attach the top seal. Um, pointing towards the inside, we're going to align it to the right hand side and we're going to let it extend over the panel. And then we're gonna manipulate it um, up on top of the door. Align the hardware that's in the door track to accommodate the base of the panel. The gasket is facing inward. We align it loosely, and then we're gonna push it up against the right-hand side. And then we're going to um, add the hardware and just tighten it down with the drill driver. Once that's complete, we are going to raise the panels into position. And then we're going to screw it into the panels that are on top of the cabinet. And you'll notice that we are using four pieces of hardware there. Now we're going to take a quick measurement with the other panels gasket. We want to touch the two gaskets in the middle and then cut it at the left. Now we're going to align this new piece with the curve going inward and we're going to align it to the opposite side, in this case, the left-hand side. Now we can raise the panel into position. Repeat the process on the left-hand side. Tighten it down. Torque it with the drill driver. I'm going to lift it up. Make sure your gaskets come together in the midpoint. And then we're going to screw in the opposite corner piece, utilizing the four um, bolts that are remaining. 
Now we're going to take a quick measurement. That's just going from slot to slot where the captured nuts are, right? We want to get the one track to the other. That's the measurement that we're taking. We're going to take a second dimension, which is the gap between the two extrusions, right? So what is that opening between one post and the other? Now we're going to take the splice bracket and we're going to identify the first dimension. You notice I believe it was a little bit over seven inches. We want to identify the, the slots um, that are the closest to that dimension that allows us to put a piece of hardware in between the two. We're going to utilize our screwdriver using the laser edge feature and we're going to pop out those two positions. Then we're going to turn the panel around and repeat it on the opposite side, making note that we've got the same dimension and it should be the same um, knockouts, top and bottom. So now we should have four slots that are open. Now we're going to cut a gasket for the second dimension that we measured. This is the dimension of the uprights. Take the gasket, we're going to cut it and then we're going to cut a second piece to the exact same dimension. We've got another small gasket and we're going to measure from one base plate to the next. And then we're going to take that gasket and attach it to the bottom edge of the panel. We're going to place the panel against the extrusions and then we need to align the nuts that are in the track on both the left and the right hand side. And you can do that by eyeballing it. Then we are going to screw it down with four screws. Once it's tightened down, we're gonna grab one of the gaskets that we pre-cut and we are going to install it to the top edge of the containment panel. We're gonna go ahead and grab the top panel and we're gonna repeat the process using the same measurement that we had taken originally and we're going to knock out four slots and we're going to align that upper panel to the top just like we did on the bottom one. In this case, um, we're going to manipulate the, the four captive nuts and then go ahead and screw it down. Then we're going to install the second cut gasket to the underside of that panel. So now we have completed the installation of all the panels and here is a view of the finished end of row panel. I hope you found this installation video helpful. For product questions or more information, please contact a technical support specialist or visit our website at chatsworth.com. Thank you.